Hey everybody, it's Velvet1217 and I'm just going to update you guys this week on my P3 uh, stabilization and maintenance. And the last time I vlogged I was waiting for Tom to go away so I could determine if I had to do a steak day or, or what. I had gone up, I was just going up and up to um, about almost six pounds above LDW and about five and a half pounds over stabilized weight or so, something like that. Um, well, after Tom came, um, in the next few days I had, I did go down, but let's see, I was still two pounds over stabilized weight and about two and a half over LDW. So I lost some of the bloating and all that, but then I guess I was just left with the weight from my gain. And that gain happened um, the weekend before the week before Tom, if that makes sense. <laughs> it was a few weekends ago, and I had gone out of town and had some diet beverages with watermelon flavoring. And I was still on stabilization, no starch, no sugar phase, and I, of course, they had sugar. I wasn't thinking correctly and just didn't think about it and had those drinks and and they did indeed cause me to gain so um, I was reading pounds and inches and Dr. Simeons does say if you do not correct a gain right away which I didn't because I was out of town and I didn't know that I had gained I didn't take my scale um, he does say if you gain and you don't correct it right away it may take you know, uh, several days of strict dieting, uh, you know, several, a time period of strict dieting to correct it. And so, now that Tom is gone, I uh, was able to see, you know, what gain I was left with and decided that I was going to work on correcting it because I'm going on P2, um, next weekend will be my loading for round two, P2. So, I want to get to my stabilized weight or my LDW or even a little bit below it because I need to load and I want some room to be able to load. Um, I don't want to be dealing with being way above LDW and then in loading and so I don't want to do that. I want to go back to at least stabilized weight which is just a little bit over my LDW and go from there and work with that. So anyway so that was that's been my goal this week and next week I'll be working on that um, one thing though that was really cool is on Easter I did go have lunch with my boyfriend and his son and I did eat a pizza because technically I'm in maintenance I am supposed to be able to introduce starch and sugar but I hadn't because of my gain and Tom and all that mess so I did have a slice of pizza and actually two slices of gourmet, it was a gourmet pizza place, it was really good, and um, so, and I did just fine, I didn't really gain, yeah, I didn't gain, um, I stayed the same, so that was pretty cool, but I was still above my, where I want to be, basically, so what I decided to do was Monday, I did a steak day, and steak days, I don't know, some people drop three and four pounds on steak days, two pounds. I don't. I drop one. One pound. That's it. <laughs> um, the last, I've done steak days twice, steak day twice, and I've only dropped one pound each time. Doesn't work that great for me. Just like apple days don't work great for me on P2. I drop two pounds and then gain one back right away. <laughs> What works good for me on P2 is mini steak day. Okay, so I did a steak day. Then Tuesday, I decided to do the dieting that Dr. Simeons recommends, and I restricted my calories. I had about 1,700 calories, and um, yeah, 1,700 calories because I do exercise. So, um, and then I was down another pound this morning. So I think it's working. I think I'm just going to have to be watching my calories and of course I'm not doing starches and sugars uh, right now uh, during these dieting days. Just eating clean P3 and watching my calories. Um, 
And so I expect to be able to get back down to LDW, hopefully, or stabilize weight at least, um, probably by the end of this week. And so I'm going to plan, my plan is just to continue with that. Except for Friday, we're supposed to go out to eat. And I am going to have a meal that has starches and sugars because I do want to introduce those. I don't want to be carb sensitive. I want to be able to eat normally when I'm done with my weight loss and I'm at my ultimate goal weight. So I do want to introduce them, um, but I'm just going to have one meal with them. And then I'll keep eating clean until my loading days. So, so far that's where I'm at. I'm excited about P2. Um, I see that a lot of you guys are going to be doing P2. Mama Clock's on P2. Eileen's going on P2 next week. Naturally Free is going on P2. There's a lot of you guys starting, who have just started or are starting up, and we're going to be in P2 together and releasing and decreasing, like Mumsy says. So I'm pretty excited about that.